All right. So now we are going to learn how to export our Salesforce data out to another system or for backing up. So why would we want to export data? There is a few examples. So for, for example, we are running a shelter for dogs, right? So we help stray dogs or lost dogs around the city. So right now we have, for example, 500 dogs in our huge shelter. So we want to share this information with other people or other organization that would want to help us get these dogs to have new homes, for example. Okay. So for example, um, PetSmart wants to help our shelter to find homes for our 500 dogs, but maybe PetSmart is not using Salesforce yet. So they are using their own other platform system. Okay. So for example, then PetSmart asks us, can you give us all the data information in regards to your uh, dogs available in your shelter? We want to know what breed they are, uh, when they are taken, are they friendly, are they aggressive, um, and so forth. So, so PetSmart is not using Salesforce and our shelter is using Salesforce. So we want to export our data and give PetSmart the data so they can import it into their own system. All right. Or maybe they are using Salesforce too. So you can transfer the data from Salesforce to Salesforce using this particular um, what? scenario, this particular uh, way of getting data from one place to another place. Okay. So yeah, that makes sense, right? So we, we are as a shelter have 500 dogs. We want help from all the people that can help find home for these dogs. And then maybe they are using Salesforce or they are not using Salesforce. So we want to give our data to them so they can help us. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead. So on this particular trail, they are explaining how we can do that from a data export wizard and data loader. Okay. You can export our data using the data export wizard or the data loader. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So let's go ahead before we run too long for this video. I'm going to launch our trailhead, um, our trailhead playground. For that, I'm going to go back to my, to our other trail. So I'm, so I can launch the trailhead. This is what you can also do. So follow me along if you want to go to your trailhead. So, and you don't know where's the button. I want to go to my trail, uh, to my trailhead playground. All right. So now I'm going to go to this. Um, and I think. This one has a challenge. See, I'm just going to hit this retake this challenge, which I am not going to retake, but I just want to launch. I just want to launch my trailhead playground there. So now I have it. It's launching. Right. So now as is it's launching, I'm not going to translate this page. I'm going to go back here. And back to our um, trail, which is export data. So, okay. Here we want to learn how to export using data export wizard and data loader. All right. So you can also schedule an export and just export it right now. Let's do that. So to do that, we go to here. As usual, click the gear icon over here. Hit setup. And I'm going to search for data export there. So since we don't have paths here, all right, we want to export. Um, you can export everything 
in your Salesforce, but we don't want to export everything, right? I'm just going to export my, um, oh yeah, include all data, that's right. I'm just going to export my student. So how do we find that? I'm just going to command F or control F student here. I see it at the bottom there, right? So let's import or export our student teacher student report card. Okay, just for this example, all right? And replace carriage return with spaces, leave that checked. And I'm just gonna leave everything checked like that. So if you choose include all data, it will include everything, okay? Everything, we don't want that. I, want, I just want my student, teacher, student report card for this example, and I'm gonna hit start export. All right, so the export has run, all right? So once it runs, just wait it out. It takes a while and then Salesforce will send you an email when it is completed, right? So, and it just came. I'm just gonna show you there. Your organization that export has been completed. And this is the, the link to get the, the data. Now you can download it. Let's take a look what it's gonna look like. Okay, I'm gonna download the data. It's going to be in a zip format here. So let me just open my finder so you can actually see the zip. This is the zip, all right? So if you click there, it's gonna have a folder and you're gonna have those three objects you are exporting student student report card teacher for example if i open student here you see all those data okay i'm gonna do that and i'm going to view zoom 150 is okay there you go you have the id of the record the owner so basically all the data okay the birth date and the teacher and the grade okay this is the student record this is the name of the student right so we have all the data and that is how you export it using um, data export wizard from salesforce so on the next video we are going to show you how you can export this using the data loader application okay so i'm gonna stop here and let's watch the next video on how to do this with the data loader thanks